stubborn unemployment rates, a devaluing dollar, and waning trust in government policies is leading to a golden trend. More than a dozen states have introduced laws to recognize gold as legal currency. In 2011, Utah was the first to make it legal to do business using gold. In May, the Arizona legislature voted to recognize gold and silver as legal tender and would become the second state to do so if the governor signs the bill. The point is, is that we are stimulating our economy. We're paying our bills by printing more money. He is referring to the Federal Reserve and Ben Bernanke's decision to implement round after round of quantitative easing. Bernanke's quantitative easing policies means the Treasury printing more money. But critics worry that this printing frenzy will lead to the dollar continuing to lose its value. FDR took the U.S. off the gold standard in 1933. The Federal Reserve took over the money matters. Their first role was supposed to be the stability of the dollar, but we haven't seen that. We've seen a steady devaluation to a fraction of a cent of what the 1913 dollar was worth at the time. In fact, critics like Peterson blame the Federal Reserve for the most recent economic recession. But when you look at what happened in 2007, 2008, the monetary policies of the Federal Reserve wiped out enormous parts of the uh, financial industry, and people from Main Street to, Mall, to Wall Street were wiped out. Among Bernanke's most outspoken critics, Ron Paul. Do you think gold is money? No. The former presidential candidate called to end the Fed. We have devalued our paper currencies. Gold has gone up. And that's why there's consideration from many, not only Ron Paul, but Steve Forbes and others, to talk about having some sort of modified gold standard where fiat currencies are anchored by hard assets. Though there's a renewed push to go gold, some economists say a move back to the gold standard would be disastrous. It doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, what caused the Great Recession in the United States was an $8 trillion housing bubble. A housing bubble that led to less construction and consumer consumption. Those opposed to bringing back the gold standard say fears of inflation are overblown. Well, the Federal Reserve created over $2.3 trillion since 2008, and inflation is running at about 1.1% annually right now over the last 12 months. So uh, it's kind of a, a unworkable solution to a non-existent problem. But the problem, real or perceived, is triggering a gold rush of sorts with more citizens and states losing faith in the decisions made here. In Washington, Liz Wall, RT.